Nanette Memoir. <laughs> Remember, children, stalactites hang tightly while stalagmites stand mightily. <laughs> it is nature science, and me and my friends, and some other people I will not mention, are studying caves. Ah, oh, yes. Have you ever seen anything as impressive as those stalactites? Uncle Nicky's Eternal Spitball? Uncle Nicky's Eternal Spitball has been on our ceiling since before I was even born. Uncle Nicky used to eat paste. So it's never coming down. I hope you're wrong as usual, John. The sooner that hideous aberration of school property you and a certain someone call a spitball comes down, the better. I mean, the sooner you're allergic to your own brain, the better. The net manure. I heard that, Angela. And you must confess, it wasn't very nice. That was the point, Josephine Praline. But if you harbor such feelings in your heart, you'll never be touched by an angel. And if you're never touched by an angel, your life will be nothing but trouble. <laughs> oh, sure, Josephine. Whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah! It's a sign from above! Ew, it's also disgusting. I'll say it's disgusting! And in defiance of school rules as well! But it, it's Uncle Nicky's! Don't be ridiculous! Now dispose of your repugnant handiwork at once! And while the rest of us are rediscovering the joys of macrame, uh... you will be cleaning erasers! Again! Oh. That wouldn't have happened if you had been touched by an angel. I wonder if all signs from above come with a mandatory sentence of eraser clapping. But it wasn't a sign from above. It was a sign from a spitball. It fell on my desk. It was an accident. <laughs> and that was just an accident, too. <laughs> just an accident. Angela, there's a footprint on your sandwich. Accidents happen. Watch out for the mud puddle. <laughs> Almost had an accident. accident. What a reset. If I didn't know better, I'd say I was jinxed. You're not <gasps> jinxed, Angela Anaconda. You just need an angel. Josephine, is that you? Yes, my child. I am with you. And your guardian angel would be too if you could learn to love your enemies. Oh, brother, not this again. It's true, Angela. Unless you're touched by an angel. I know, my life will be nothing but so What in the name of Lady Godiva? Angela Anaconda, I'm sure you know what this means. It's not fair. Why am I the only one who ever has to clap erasers? Huh? Did I just see what I think I thought I saw? Hey, Josephine, wait up! If you want to be touched by an angel, you have to learn to be kind and good. I can do that. You must learn to love your enemies. No problem. Even your nanettes. Ninny poo Oh, brother. Sorry, not interested. But if you can't be nice to Nanette, you'll never be touched by an angel. Maybe I could just get a rabbit's foot. Whoa! Or not. You have to do what? You heard me, Johnny Abadi. I have to be nice to Ninny Wart. Otherwise, I'm doomed to a life of trouble my whole life. An interesting theory, Angela Anaconda. Perhaps you should start by calling her by her real name. True. I can eat and eat and eat and never gain an ounce, unlike some people I know. <laughs> <laughs> Then again, Ninny Wart has a nice ring to it. Hmm. Oh, Pooh! Cook forgot to remove the crust on my cucumber sandwich again. You hear that? Now's my chance. Hmm. A stepped on mayonnaise and jelly sandwich with crust. Um. 
Mm. Don't even think about it. Ah! I'm blinded by my lunch. Huh? Here you go, Nanette. Crust-free lunch, just for you. Spaghetti? The only pasta that touches my lips is angel hair. This may not be angel hair, but how about a nice spaghetti wig? <laughs> Well, she started it. Ah! It's raining! Now my perfect curls will be wilted like the last rose of summer. This time, try offering her something she wants. Something she needs. Like an umbrella, yeah! Hey, Nanette! Angela Anaconda? You almost put out one of my sparkling eyes. I was just hoping to save your perfect curls. And they do so need saving. Of course, I'd do the same for you if I had an umbrella. And you had perfect curls. I'm sure you would, Nanette. Didn't anyone ever teach you the proper way to hold an umbrella? My toes are getting all wet. Thank you. Huh? Now watch and learn. See? That's how you hold an umbrella. That's why I'm dry and you're wet. That's why I'm dry and you're wet. Just kidding. Toodles, Mummy! <gasps> Hi, Nanette. I practiced all night, and now I know how to hold an umbrella just like they do in France, where you are most certainly from. Well, in case you haven't noticed, Angela Anaconda, it isn't raining. But what about the sun's harmful rays? You don't want to get a freckle on account of your sensitive skin and all. They're so clean. I should discipline Miss Anaconda more often. Miss Green! Miss Green! Angela would stop chasing me with her unruly and rather pedestrian umbrella! Angela Anaconda! What has come over you? But I was only trying to act nice. Angela, 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 when are you going to learn? It's not enough to act nice to Nanette. You have to be nice in your heart. Are you talking about the same Nini poo as me? Don't lose faith, my child. Here, make a list of all the things that are nice about Nanette. Just find one thing and an angel will find you. Okay, but I think that what you're asking for is a miracle. It's really hard to write lists about nothing, and there is nothing nice about Nanette. If it isn't Angel Josephine. Take my hand, Angela Anaconda, and together we shall find the Nanette that has been forgotten. The nice Nanette. <laughs> Observe. Innocence playing. I know that's me, but who's that? Little Nanette. Isn't she sweet? A baby. Ah, uh, here she is, the merciful and caring Nanette. What beautiful flowers, Mrs. Moran. But seeing as they spoil your view of the parking lot, I'm sure you'd like me to have them. No. Fine. The people in this place. It's always me, me, me. <sighs> At least she left something. Look, there's a nice Nanette. Innocent in her dreams. I bet she snores. Hello, Nanette. I am an angel. I don't care if you're Mother Teresa. You're ruining my beauty sleep. Now scoot. But I'm here to show Angela. Angela? That does it. I'm getting security. Alfredo! Alfredo! I changed my mind. You were right. There isn't anything nice about Nanette. So now I guess I'll never be touched by an angel. Yes, well, it could be worse. You could be just like her. Hmm, that's true. At least I'm not like her. Hey, that's it! I did it, Josephine, I did it! I actually found a lot of nice things about Nanette. I knew you would, my child. She's not a twin. 
she doesn't have a clone. There's only one of her. Well, that's not quite what I had in mind, but it'll do. Does that mean I'll be touched by an angel? Perhaps you already have been. Today is the day the princes open their pool for the summer. And we are here in the treehouse on account of we might be able to tell if they are swimming without clothes like we think. I think we should eat the cupcakes I brought right now. Cause, you know, the sight of the Brinks is naked might make us lose our appetites. I brought allergy-free rice crackers for everyone. They always settle my stomach. Shh. Do you see anything? Nothing yet, but I think I heard something. Nanette Manoir, what are you doing here? And why is your gardener attacking our tree? He's not attacking your precious tree, Angel Anaconda. He's putting up a tray's important community notice. My valuable purebred French poodle Ooh -la, -la, la has gone missing. <laughs> the poor little thing is outside somewhere, and he doesn't even have his booties on. He could step in dirt. <gasps> booties? No wonder he ran away. He's perdu, which is French for lost, in case you didn't know, Angel Anaconda. In case you didn't know, scram is English, for which you'd get lost, Nanette Manoir. <laughs> Want me to try my special whistle? <laughs> Thank you anyway, but I'm afraid he only responds to the sound of my melodic voice. And by now he may have wandered into a really bad neighborhood. That's why we're hanging up signs around where you live. Oh, I'm just so worried about my poor defenseless little pup. <laughs> Nanette, don't cry. We'll help you find him. Johnny, we got special business to do, remember? Operation Beached Whale. <laughs> Did you hear that? That's the sound of blubber hitting water. I hope they're wearing good sunscreen. <laughs> Come on, Angela. What if your dog was missing, huh? My dog wouldn't run away. My dog is loyal. By the way, my father is offering a $200 reward for whoever finds my ooh-la-la. -la. Let's go! Come on, Ian. Come on, doggy. Here, doggy. Here, doggy. Well, I guess the Brinkses will still be naked tomorrow. Come on, let's go find that poodle. Come on, doggy. Where are you? Ow! Oof! <laughs> that we wasted a whole day trying to find a dog that we couldn't find. Yeah, no reward money and no bare Brinkses. And none of your cupcakes either. And all because of Nanette ruin our day manoir. My poor little doggie is wandering around without his booties. <gasps> In my backyard. $200, and you want to go home, right? Okay, then. Maybe I'll understand this. Come on, vous with moi. Blah, blah, blah. Mm. I know. Let's play a game. No dog can resist the rope. That's it. Just hold on and follow me. Come on. Stay here with King. If King can stand it. I'll go get your unfortunate owner. Just leave the quiche on the porch and charge it to my tab. Angela, since when do you work for Chez Poulet? I don't. And I'm not delivering your dinner. I'm delivering your precious little poodly thing. Really? I don't see my dog. That's because he's at my house. Oh, please. My dog would sooner visit the city dump than visit your house. Not that there's much of a distinction. $200, $200, $200. I heard that. You should be ashamed of yourself, Angela Anaconda, showing up here trying to cheat me out of the reward while my poor Ula La is still out there somewhere. Lost, alone, and foodie-less. <sighs>
But that's what I'm trying to tell you. He's not lost. I can't believe you can stoop so low as to take advantage of me in my time of deep despair. I'll show you deep despair. I heard that, Angela. Now kindly leave before I call security. <laughs> Okay, what we need is proof that ooh la la -di da is in my backyard. I hope this doesn't involve a pooper scooper. Here, look. <gasps> well, what are you waiting for, Johnny? Start snapping. I get it. Provide Nanette with photographic evidence, and she'll have to give you your reward money. Or we could just take a picture. Are you sure we're not going to get in trouble for spying on them? Gordy, they're just dogs. They have no constitutional right to privacy. That ought to do it. I don't think they were smiling, but ooh -la, la was sure wagging his tail, you know? I wonder what Nanette's going to say when she sees these. My eyes! Curse my eyes! Wait, there's more. What is it, princess? Yes, tell Mommy and Daddy. <gasps> she dog nabbed my poodle, and now she's trying to blackmail me. Look, there are the photos for proof. <gasps> but I wasn't blackmailing. I don't even know what that means. Angela Anaconda, I thought you were my friend. But I found your dog. I only took the photos on account of she wouldn't believe me. Oh, Mommy and Daddy, now she's calling me a liar. <laughs> There, there, baby doll. Tell Mama how to make her little peach feel all better. You name it. Anything. Oh, I don't need anything, but you could make a donation to my favorite charity, the Orphan Children's Decoupage Fund. That's my girl, always putting others first. Huh? But wouldn't you rather have that pretty little frock we saw in the window of Lush Shake Boutique? Say, we could use the reward money to buy it for you. Okay. Huh? Angela? 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 <laughs> and don't forget to send someone to rescue my poor, precious ooh -la, la Of course, Pumpkin. Right away. Alfredo! To the anacondas! Chop, chop! And be sure to bring plenty of disinfectant huh? with you. Au revoir, Angela Anaconda, which is French for go home. Look on the bright side, girl. You won't have to hang out with that snobby dog anymore. King, no! Come back! Come back! Come back! Wait! King! Come back! Uh-oh. I remember when first we met. It was love at first sight. You were always there for me, in good times and bad. You always played fair. Hey, what's she doing here? Lost Minnie Poo. We don't want to play with you. Or at least I thought so. Maybe it's better this way, my former best friend. Maybe you were meant for the snooty life. All I want is for you to be happy, even if it's not with me. I just can't leave without one last goodbye. Ooh la la, dear! <laughs> to celebrate your return, I had Cook whip up your favorite, a cheese and asparagus souffle made with Roquefort. That's French for... Cheese that smells like shoes. Bye, King. 
It was great knowing you, girl. Thank <laughs> you. 